I'm sowing that. So all her energy is, is what's important to me. So where's the strife? Where's the vainglory? Where's the fight? When you stop trusting each other and you start thinking about yourself, then you say, I don't trust that you're going to think about me, so I'm thinking about myself. Now you start to disconnect. Can two walk together unless they be agreed? Amos 3.3, 3, you lose your agreement because you don't, you, now you're operating in fear. You don't even trust God will move on the other person. So you're like, nah, listen, man, if I depend on you, I, ain't, I might not never get what I need. I got this one from here, bro. Thank you. Appreciate you. Right? So, so your whole flow changes because you've lost sight of God's plan. Esteem others better than yourself. Right. And then look, verse four says, look, not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. So we just park with those two scriptures. Are we doing are we rolling? I mean, you think about the, the, the commandments when he talked to Jesus says, which is the great commandment? He says, well, you know, look, look, have no other God before me. We just go there. So that's 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 big. Then he said, love others as yourself. He says, you can you can take all the other commandments and hang them on those two. It's about making sure you have me first because if you keep me first, the adversary can't distract you with some of the compromises of the world. And then number two, if you think of others more than yourself, you don't have to worry about uh, being disconnected, disjointed in chaos and craziness in relationships. As Soon as you start thinking about yourself, think about it. Do the test. This week, if there's an argument, go to your room by yourself and think of, did you think about yourself? We were in, in the growing pains of, of our marriage, uh, especially the first two and a half, three years. So I, I got high tolerance, but again, I haven't been married before either. So, so my wife would say something, say something, say something. And I'd be like, no, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Cause you figure, I figure I, I can take anything. Then I would say, one day I would say, you know what? I'm taking a stand today. <laughs> Nah, 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 not today. I'm about to, no, we're going, you're going to get my point on this one. Major blow up. And then after a while, I realized the pattern. Every time I thought about me, I, that thing would blow up. It would never be like, I'm going to take my stand on this one. You know what, honey? I didn't even look at it from that perspective. I would blow it up all the time because I ain't trust. I, I figured, you know, I got, no, no, no. Or, or, you know, they teach you in the hood. Don't be him pecked. So I really wasn't even like playing off of what was best for the relationship. I was trying to make sure I followed the protocol coming out of Newark, New Jersey. It did look like it might be a possible him peck situation. It was a him peck warning, you know, like a siren went off. Him peck, him peck, him peck. So, you know, I didn't want to be like the referee on the, on a commercial where the ladies, uh, uh, no, the guys yelling at, at, at the game, just going, ah, ah. and the ref was like this. So they flip. So, they, so the, the announcer says, oh, my God, what trained him to be able to handle such type of pressure? And they flip over to him at the house, sitting on the couch, and the wife is like going like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I didn't want to end up like that. So, I, so, so the Lord, <laughs> uh, uh, the Lord said he's going to, he's going to, uh, facilitate a lot of overwhelming fulfillment in our relationships this year. It's going to be return to friendship, a return to friendship, because sometimes we've, lo we've lost sight of friendship. And, and uh, so, and, and some of us never had it, you know, because a lot of times you get so, you focus so much on romance when you're going into the relationship at the expense of friendship. So when you see red flags, that's an opportunity for you to grow as friends. But you think red flags is, no, 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 this ain't my picture. Ho, oh, oh, ho, my man. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not in the picture. No one has the picture but you. It's in private stash, probably some vault somewhere. Nobody's seen the picture, but you expect everybody to live by the picture. Share the picture. <laughs> you know, so, and that's an opportunity to, to, anytime there's a red flag, it's an opportunity to share your each pictures. Oh, this was my picture, and that doesn't fit. <laughs> right? But, but then you can have a conversation. Well, can we maybe adjust the picture a little bit, whatever the case may be, but you're growing as friends now. But normally, oh no, we ain't having that. No, you can't do that. That's not in the picture. That, that wasn't in the movie. No, the movie, you know, when I was a kid, when the, when the, uh, when the princess met the prince, it was happily ever after. Now, I didn't see the rest of the story, but according to the cartoon, they let, it was birds flying and they had music going. 
That's how it's supposed to roll, right? We got married, happily ever after. No one told you you're married by faith and you grow in love. Oh, you're going to work through some things. You're going to become friends, like real friends, not the in love, infatuation, serotonin, cuddle hormone friends. That's not genuine friends. That's just your chemical imbalance. <laughs> you hang around anybody long enough, those hormones are going to be kicking. Meet a stranger, drive with him for two weeks from here to California. By the time you get to California, you guys be the, yeah, hey. so where do you want to marry at? Why? Because this cut, it was called cuddle hormones. You got to study this stuff out. So we ain't talking about being in love. In love makes you recognize. I think this is the one. Okay, now you go through now establishing friendship to see if we're going to actually engage or get married. Right? So every time there's a red flag, you, so you're having a good day. It's a great day at the restaurant. You're like, oh, that was funny. <laughs> Ooh, that was funny. Woo. What you looking at? Now, why are you looking over there? I mean, every time she walked by, I noticed you, you stopped laughing and you left the conversation. <laughs> Can we talk about this? At least talk about it, as opposed to I see it, but I'm going to pretend I don't see it because I got to seal the deal first. You know, I got to reel them in. You know, I, we got to sign the marriage paper. Then after that, we're going to talk about some things because now I got you. I got the certificate. You mine. Now, by the way, I know the spending that I did without telling you. I pretty much flow like that, but I was hanging in there until we got signed the deal. But now that we signed the deal, I'm about to stretch out. <laughs> and you gonna pay. But see, that's not friendship. That's a traitor. Wheeling and dealing, deceptive. But friendship is we all in, right? Right? So do we want to reestablish friendship this year? So establishing or re this is the key. To establish friendship, we're going to establish or reestablish what's called intercession. Ooh, big word. All right, so to get what you desire or change. And, and, and then we're going to go back to proper interaction. See, what's happening is we've replaced intercession with hands-on interaction. So when there's a demand, there's something that you really believe in for, for your mate. You already know you can't fix it with your mouth, right? Everybody know that. Oh, you didn't know? Nobody told you? <laughs> you should know by now. Just go back and look at the film. Look at the game film. You know, uh, we do this in sports. You, know, you go out and you play the game, and you felt that you played so great. You did wonderful, right? And then you go back and look, at, and the coach is like, yeah, I need you to play better this week. Play better? I was balling. They couldn't do nothing with me. I made like seven moves. I crossed over, went behind my back. Yeah, but you missed a shot every time. <laughs> the crowd was yelling, but you never made the shot. But you look good going to the basket, though, buddy. And then you look at the game film, you'd be like, wow, I, you know, when I look at the whole picture, I really suck today, right? Well, now, let's look at the game film of the marriage. Let's go back. You know, let's kind of look at the game film because we, we not, and we'll see like, like, we got our hands on too much stuff. Like we're supposed to be interceding. You know, when there's a demand placed on you, something, you say, okay, that's what I'm, in my time that you're spending with God all the time? Because you're spending so much time with God. So when you sit and talking to God, it's like, well, God, you know, I got something to talk to you about. I don't know what this fool doing, but could we talk about it? So you're interceding, not hands-on interaction. And you'll see most of the time those heated discussions